Look what came through the mail today. Or what came in the mail. Look at this. Anyone recognize this? It's a, it's not a tape cassette player or a cassette tape. Uh, but this is what cassette tapes used to look like. Pretty cool, right? And it's actually my Discover card. My Discover credit card. I love Discover because, uh, you know, they always say like, um, the customer service is really good and I'm always cautious. So tested it out. I called them last week, say, hey, um, I'm looking for a replacement card. Uh, my current card is all scratched up and am I able to get any different logo designs or different car designs? And sure enough, they were able to help me out and I got it in. Yay. And we got some really cool stuff in the mail today. Check it out. We got another box and we got this big old box as well. Amazon. I love shopping on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> right there there are one day shipping the prime delivery is such a sweet deal because nowadays I, you can get your you can order your packages uh one day and get it the next day so it's very very cool so let's open it up we got this first one and if you're like me you like to use your credit card to open up your packages uh, sometimes using a knife is kind of uh dangerous or or scissors because you might cut yourself so let's Slice it open. All right. Let's see what else do we gotta do? Ah, this is pretty easy to open. So let's see what's in here. Ooh, look, there's paper decorations. Toss it out. <laughs> oh, look at this. All right. Let me make some space here. What are we looking at? Ooh, I think they call this a pop filter, right? Pop filter. And the cool thing about this from what I saw in the pictures is that it's on both sides. So you can stretch it. See? Stretchy. So, I roar, 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 roar. <laughs> All right, next up, see what else they got. They got this thing, this little foam piece. And this is what you put on, wear it like a hat. Looking like a poo from Aladdin. Speaking of which, that movie's gonna come out. What do you think about it? Are you gonna watch it? Will Smith is apparently the genie. So, but I saw the previews. Jafar, pretty disappointed in him. Uh, the guy playing Jafar doesn't really look that cool. The voice is the voice. All right, so we got this thing. So take a guess what this is, right? It's a stretchy thing. Ooh, look at that. Ow, I just, <laughs> I got my finger stuck. <laughs> Don't mind me. All right, let's see what else is in there. Ah, uh, let's see. There's all this other stuff. Don't know what it's for. I think this is tape for whatever reason. I was looking at Amazon reviews and yeah, all this other stuff. this so put in comments if you know what these things are for all right here it is this is what you clamp so basically everyone this is a microphone stand it's to stretch and i got it because it looks cool and this is what the cool kids use right the professionals oh and they got this little ring thing coupler i don't know what you call it all right so that's everything from box number one it's all gone all gone all right so back to using my handy uh mail opener box opener let's open it up slice it up so speaking of which are you a whole foods person or a trader joe's if you had to choose I personally like Trader Joe's just because it's nearby. I haven't gone to Whole Foods, so might be a little bit biased. Ugh. Oh yeah, I forgot to use my card. All right, so let's see what's in here. It's Inception, a box within a box. Look at that. Oh, it's kind of heavy. So what is in here? This is what you call, let's see, where's the front? 
I don't know what to find. Oh, here. A Yeti mic. Yeti. Blue blue Yeti. I don't know why they call it Blue Yeti. Uh, but it has all these cool features. So you're probably wondering, Ron, why, why are you... Uh, what's the purpose of buying all these things? Well, because I'm trying to be more professional in a sense where uh, I've been using this microphone, right? And I've been using this headset to do calls, uh, video, podcasts, interviews, to do my recordings and stuff. And I'm looking at, you know, what can I do to uh, be more professional, right? To have that extra edge. And I can go more and deeper in this in a bit. Uh, but initially it just started out, hey, let's test to see if I enjoy doing these things, right? And if I am enjoying it, let's see how the call quality is or the recording quality. And once I get better and better and it's worth the investment, then let's do it. Let's try it out. All right, so first things first, you open it up, you got the USB. This is using a mini USB. I don't know if you can see it mini usb so not the micro usb that they use in phones but the kind of usb that you use for a playstation 3. see i don't know if people still play playstation 3s but that's the last gaming device that i've ever had and let's see what else this is an instruction manual toss that out <laughs> i really need to read these instructions all right so Take this thing out and you see it's upside down. Wow, they packaged it upside down. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so it's this way. Wait, which way? I don't know. Here it is. All right, wow, this thing's pretty heavy. So anything else, that's it. So it just comes like this, this and this. That's all it comes with, right? So I guess it swivels. Whoop. That sounds bad. Uh, but yeah, you got buttons here. You see the, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but this is the volume button. This mute button, gain, pattern. And let's see, there's, this is where you insert the USB. This is where you insert the headset so that uh, this is the mic and you insert like a pair of headphones, earphones, whatever you want. This doesn't work because it's Bluetooth. So if you have an iPhone or regular corded uh, headset, then that's what you use. Uh, let's see, what else? So next up, I got to figure out how to configure all these things. Uh, I guess I would need to unplug this and be able to put these things together. So this seems like a little bit more complicated steps. And, oh, let's do the easy stuff first. So the pot filter or the foam, stick it in. There you go, there you go, buddy. Looking good there. All right. There you go. Look at that. That's my baby. All right. So why it keeps? So I guess we gotta lock this in, tighten it. Otherwise, it's gonna swivel all over the place and just fall and smash itself. Look, it already made a dent because I keep pushing it. All right. So next up is. Let's see, what do I want to do next? Wow, this is a lot of stuff. So, anyways, let's uh, let's do this. Let's talk about why why I even bought a mic. So I mentioned a bit earlier that I'm looking to get it more professional. So why black? Black because I love the color black. I mean, my water bottle is black. I, I get black coffee mugs, <laughs> everything black. My wall is black. So yeah, love black. So keep the color scheme going well. Uh, why, what else do I use this for? So since I'm using it for video podcasts, right? I want to look more professional. So having a mic like this, whether it's a stand, stand uh, having it on a stand like this or having it on one of these crazy stands, uh, it just looks a lot more professional, legit. Uh, 
the different features with this mic you can set the different patterns here so based on if you're like in a coffee shop or in a noisy environment you can set it where it just has the voice from here to here so you can record it or you know just different settings that you can play with so i'm not really sure how it works yet because i haven't tested it out uh let's see oh why the blue yeti in particular is because when i searched for an amazon i was um, actually just looking for a lavalier mic and i was just being looking for it and i was like hey look there's these kind of mics too so why don't i test out the lavalier mic first when i'm how you hear me now and see how it works and i really like it but now that we're doing more professional stuff more video podcasts look at this and it has really solid reviews on amazon and for me see solid reviews a lot of reviews there's videos then it seems like a logical decision to make right and i was like looking at the negative reviews like what are the people saying uh and why you know it's a recurring thing and for the ones that enjoy it and have no issues like are are, are those real reviews uh, but the best way to figure out is to test it out by yourself, uh, yourself, right? So let's see what else. So with the, this uh, mic stand, uh, it had really uh, shaky reviews. Like they say it's cheap. I mean, it feels kind of lightweight and this is freaking heavy. I don't know if it's this part or just this, but even with just this on itself, well, it's heavy. Uh, so. I think I saw that it had trouble staying in a locked position, right? It'll sometimes sag down like this because of the weight. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, I, I purchased this because Amazon always, they do a great job of upselling. Like, hey, you should buy this with this. So I just bought it. I mean, it's only 20 bucks for all this. So um, yeah. And then this mic was like, what, 100 bucks? So not bad. And let's see. So why why this type of mic and upgrading from using a headset like this i mean this headset is pretty expensive too it's jabra like 200 bucks uh but it's just so i get the extra edge right so anything that have the quality even better right if i want to be able to convert these uh youtube video interviews into podcasts then people can only hear my voice and i want to make sure that the quality is so clear that you can hear me breathing you can hear you can feel my tonality you can feel how excited i am how um, passionate i am about something or emotional so that's what i'm looking for in this right uh, so with having a, a really clear crisp listening experience for you uh, you're able to enjoy it more. You're able to uh, listen to it a lot longer. So there's what I've noticed is uh, there's a lot of golden nuggets that you hear in these interviews or any YouTube video or whatever training you're in, like that um, subtle things that someone may say that it can make the difference, that can help uh, open the doors for you. Just that one thing. So. Um, I want to maximize the, the opportunity so that people that are taking the time to listen, you, to listen to this, uh, can really enjoy the listening experience. And I already mentioned it's professional look, right? It looks professional, all black. Who doesn't love black? And uh, we'll do another review. Uh, when we test out the sound quality and what better way to test it out when I have an interview scheduled today. Uh, with the Click Funnels 2 Comma Club winner. So you'll probably see that coming up in a future video. And we'll be able to test out the sound quality. Hopefully everything works. I probably got to do some, some um, test runs before. Uh, but I'll be able to do another re review showcasing my experience with it. Some of the things I mentioned as some concerns with this not being the best. And we shall see. We shall see. And... Yeah, so with this being so big, it might not be the best portable decision, right? It adds a lot of extra weight. So if you're a traveler like me uh, that goes to different places a lot all over the world, uh, it's maybe a good idea to have backup. But if you have like your own studio, uh, a, a place that you always do your recordings, then investing in something like this might be a, a good uh, decision. But once again, I haven't tested it out yet. I'm just giving you my initial thoughts, showing you an unboxing, and I'm excited to 
to play around with this and have some fun. So look forward to uh, seeing more videos of me using it out and let me know in, in the comments below uh, what you ha like about this or what you are currently using, what you're currently using to um, do your podcast, to uh, do your interviews and stuff. So I could definitely use some, some more feedback. So take care.